Hey everyone, we wanted to give an update of uh, the success and then some of the trials that we've experienced with the Evo Fly Barless. We started out just being positive, saying, hey, this is working for us uh, with the Evo and all the different settings with the refresh rates. And um, of course, other people didn't have quite the same success that we did. And I wanted to just kind of give an update. So before we did the glue mod, um, I flew this one for hundreds of flights and this one we flew for a while also. And after time, we started just to see some of the same symptoms that other people were seeing with uh, either oscillations or the tail might give out randomly uh, or something like that. So this one I've been flying for a long time. I'm trying to learn pirouetting loops. And in the middle of pirouetting loops, sometimes the tail would just let go and start spinning aimlessly. Uh, it scared me a lot and gave me some of the same reservations that people had, maybe wanting to go back to a Neo, uh, but I didn't want to give up. I did the hot glue mod. I'm not going to do a video on how to do the hot glue mod. There's tons of those out there. But in the podcast Maximum Collective that Gregor and Steve and Greg do, they had Kyle Dahl on. Uh, and I feel like Mikado came out and just said, hey, you need to do the glue, but didn't necessarily explain to us why you needed to do the glue. And he kind of gave some background information about how sensitive that the new sensors are and that that glue actually dampens it not from moving around, but from noise and from blade noise and from gear wine and all the other kind of stuff and since I've done that glue mod I'm not having any issues so we've gone back to doing right now I'm only running it at 1520 and 144 Hertz which is the original Neo rates then you still get the same uh, great tail from the Evo and you kind of get that natural V bar feel that you were used to with the Neo better tail with the Evo natural feel from the Neo uh, so we're going to do a flight with this, with uh, Pro on the sticks. We're going to have Ben fly the Blackout Mods uh, Spectre V2. It's got the regular M Studios pipe on it, um, but what we're going to do is after the flight, you can see how hard he flew it. Uh, we're going to show you the logs and show you how many vibrations there are in there and how many warnings uh, and things like that that you're seeing. And again, after the hot glue mod, it's kind of dampening the sound and saving it. So let's go to the video. With the regular MS Studios muffler, and Ben Storick on the sticks. going to show you the log from the gasser flight that Ben did testing the Evo and uh, it's really it's really way better than what we've seen you can see there's as always in some of the maneuvers you get some extremes but mainly it's just full throttle like you see with Ben and uh, and it, I mean, the, the thing flew flawlessly, honestly. Yeah, the point is to show it's, it's running smooth. We're not right. getting a ton of vibrations and we're not getting oscillations on the model. Right, right. It's and great. the biggest thing we found is that we went through everything. We went through the head, we went through the tail, we tried everything. Finally, as a last ditch effort, I pulled the motor out, put a brand new motor in that I just broke in and that seemed to be it. So the motor, obviously the motor had uh, slipped balance a little bit. And so Tom Welch has that motor. And we'll right, that we had an Evo in it before. Right. It started up vibrating and we thought it was the Evo, but it turned out the motor had right. gone gone out of true. Right. So, okay. Okay. Yeah. So good update. If uh, we have more, we'll hopefully give you guys some more updates because I know people have been asking me. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye.